Hi guys, it's Mali and welcome to Let's Talk Personal Finance, the channel where we discuss how to make money and how to manage it. In this video, we'll be talking about credit scores, namely what credit scores are, how they are calculated and how you can improve your credit score. Please note, none of my videos constitute as financial advice. If you're looking for financial advice, please speak to a certified financial advisor. A credit score is a three digit number used by lenders to determine whether or not you qualify for credit, such as a loan or a credit card. Your credit score is based on your credit report, which is a record of your credit history and how you have managed your finances in the past. This allows lenders to assess your level of risk when you apply for credit. You might be wondering, so who calculates credit scores? Your credit score is calculated by a credit bureau and there are four main credit bureaus in South Africa, namely Experian, TransUnion, XDS and CompuScan. The Experian credit score ranges from 0 to 705 points. The TransUnion credit score ranges from 0 to 999 points. The CompuScan credit score goes up to 700 points and the XDS scorecard is out of a possible 1000 points. There are a number of factors that impact your credit score. Some of these factors include repeatedly missing or making late payments on your bond, your phone bill, your credit card, or your insurance. This impacts your credit score negatively as it suggests that you miss payments in the future. Defaults, bankruptcy, and court judgments also negatively affect your credit score because they suggest that you can't handle or you can't afford the debt that you have already taken on. Applying for lots of credit in a short period of time can also affect your credit score negatively because lenders may assume that you're going through financial difficulty, thereby appearing as a higher risk. Having a large amount of credit available to use may also appear bad because lenders may assume that you're riskier because you have the potential to run up higher debts. Now, this one was a bit of a surprise to me, but frequently changing your home address may actually lead lenders to believe that you're less stable, which ultimately could have a negative impact on your credit score. A kind reminder to please like this video, to share it with your family and your friends, and to please subscribe to this YouTube channel. It means a lot. Now, if you want to increase your credit score, you can take the following few steps. The first step is that you can ensure that you always pay all of your bills on time. The second step is keeping your credit card balances low. It is recommended that you should only use up to 30% of the credit amount that is available to you. But if you can use less than 30%, it's even better. The third thing you can do to improve your credit score is to pay down your debt so that you don't have a lot of debt. The fourth step is to keep your credit accounts open for as long as possible. Um, this is because the longer your accounts are or the older your accounts are, the more trustworthy you appear because it shows that you have been uh, paying your accounts for a long period of time. Now, the fifth point or the fifth step is that you should aim to apply for credit only when you need it because inquiring for credit uh, frequently has a negative impact on your credit score. So if you currently don't know what your credit score is or you don't know how to access that information, don't be stressed out because all South Africans are entitled to one free credit check every single year or every 12 months. Now, this is in accordance to the National Credit Act. You can order your free credit report at any of the credit bureaus that I mentioned earlier. So these once again are TransUnion, XDS, Experian and CompuScan. 
Personally, I use ClearScore, which is absolutely amazing because firstly, it's a mobile app and I have access to my credit score every single month for free. And it's also great because it tells me what factors have affected my credit score in that particular month. So if you guys are keen, do check out ClearScore. This is not a sponsorship, by the way. Thank you all so much for watching the video up until this point. Uh, do keep in mind that your credit score is not the only thing that lenders look at when they're considering you for a loan. They also look at your income and your employment history. So you should strive for overall financial awareness in addition to any credit score goal that you might have. And remember guys, you're never too old or too young to talk about personal finance. Toodles!